Hello, this is Dr. Mears. Um, today we are going to be solving this paper one example nine problem about a right pyramid. So let's go. A right pyramid has apex V and rectangular base ABCD with the distance between A and B equaling eight centimeters, the distance between B and C equaling six centimeters, and the distance between B and A equal 13 centimeters. The vertical height of the pyramid is the distance between B and M. So first, let's see what information they have actually put into the picture. I like doing that before I even go and see what the questions are asking. Um, so the distance between A and B is eight. So between A and B, so that's eight centimeters, perfect. The distance between B and C, B and C is six, great. And the distance between B and A, B and A is 13. Okay, so they put all the information in, awesome. Notice it's not drawn to scale. So we're definitely gonna have to do some mathematics. So let's see what they need first. Um, calculate the distance between V and M. So they want this vertical height, the distance between V and M right here. So this dotted line, how tall the pyramid is. Um, so this reminds me of um, an A squared plus B squared. So we have this triangle here. Um, so this is a nice right triangle because the height always makes a 90 degree angle with its base. We see we do have, um, if we were just pulling out this triangle here, we do see that we have the hypotenuse. This would be the hypotenuse. Um, we would be looking for side B, which is VM. However, we don't have A here. Um, so the hypotenuse would be C because we're going to be doing the Pythagorean theorem. Um, so we're actually missing two things. We're missing B and A. So we're going to have to first find A here. Um, and so if we need to find this distance right here, that reminds me of, again, A squared plus B squared equals C squared because we, we do have six. So we're going to be looking. And I should actually get a highlighter for you because this would be good. I'm going to get two highlighters. Okay, um, so first what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at this triangle here. And this is a right triangle with here. They give a side A, they give a side B, and this side right here we're going to have to find as side C. So that's the first thing that we're going to have to do. A squared, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Our A, I'm going to make 6. You could make 8. It doesn't matter. Um, these could be interchanged because C squared, that is the longest side. So we're going to get 36 plus 64 equaling C squared. 36 plus 64 equals 100, which is C squared. Taking that square root, C, we get 10. So this long side here is 10, this whole thing, which means if we cut it in half, we're going to get A, which is 5. So that means, and let me do this in blue now, this side is 5. This one right here is 5. We're looking for B, which is the height, and they gave us C as 13. So this is a double Pythagorean theorem just to figure out what the height is going to be. So originally, this whole entire thing was 10. We had to cut it in half, so A is 5. So let's work on the Pythagorean theorem again. So we're going to have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A that we found because we had to take 10 and divide it by 2 to get 5. So that is here. Plus our B, we don't know. We do know C, which is going to be 13 squared. So this is going to be 25 plus B squared equals 169. We're going to subtract 25 from both sides, and we come out with B squared as 144. We need to take the square root, which gives us, ooh, I'm sorry, you totally didn't see that. That was running through. Okay, so let me do that one more time. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 5 squared plus B squared equals 13. So that was the 5 plus the B equals the 13. So 5 squared is 25 plus B squared equals 169. Minus 25, minus 25, crosses out. It's 169 minus 25 is 144. We got to square root both sides to get rid of the square. 
So B comes out to be 12. So that height, B, equals 12. So the height between B and M, the distance, is going to be 12 centimeters. So I'm going to write that B, the distance between B and M equals 12 centimeters. Okay. Let's see what part B wants. Part B, calculate the volume of the pyramid. When they say that, they don't expect you to know volume. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go in your formula book. So the third thing that we're going to do down here, making sure that you can see my paper, kind of do a little squiggly, is you're going to have to go to your formula book. Now go to your formula book and look up volume of a pyramid. And next to it, please write P1EX9, paper 1, example 9, because we are now using a formula. The formula is V equals one-third times area times the height. So this area is the area of the base. So this bottom part. So I'm going to expand the formula out here. Volume equals one-third times area of that base. The base is going to be a rectangle times the height. So this is the volume equals one-third times length times width. That's the area times the height. So we're going to have to do the length and the width. We have that, six and eight. So down here, V equals one-third times six times eight times the height. That's the height of the entire pyramid, how tall it is. We found that. So volume equals, if you put this in your calculator, I would throw parentheses around this fraction, one-third. You're going to get 192. Since there's three dimensions, length, width, and height, this is going to be centimeters cubed. So our volume is 192 centimeters cubed. This has been paper one, example nine. I'm sorry about that little, you couldn't see it. I had to redo it there. Um, this is the work for it. Please pause the video understand it, and good luck with your future endeavors. Bye.